Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make a low poly sword in Blender. This is very good for beginners and I'm going to turn on screen cascades in the bottom left corner so you can look at those. Let's get started, this is going to be very quick. So press shift A and add in a new cylinder. And I like to put my vertices on 8 or 10 or 12. I think the default which is 32 is a bit too much. So I like to put it down. Go into edit mode and now we're going to scale this object. You can press S shift Z to scale on every axis but the Z axis. And then once you like it just press S Z to scale only on the Z axis. And this is going to be our handle. A thing you can do is you can press Control R to add a loop cut in the middle. And then just scale that on shift Z and it will give you a cool shape. I like to go into orthographic view now. So just press five on your numpad and also one to go into front orthographic. And now in edit mode, I'm going to press shift A again and I'm going to add in a new cube. I'm gonna move it down and also scale it so it fits my handle. Scale a bit more. I'm also going to add a loop cut on the side and loop cut on the middle. We'll need that later. By pressing Control tab I'm going to go into face select mode and select side faces. And then I can press S, Y to scale, on, to scale them on the Y axis. And it gives this cool shape which I think is pretty cool. We can go into edit mode and add another cube. This is going to be our guard. So just scale it on Z axis. And then on the x-axis, also add a loop cut in the middle from the front view and from the side view. And we can also go into face select mode and then just select these side faces, extrude, right click so it deselects it. So S, X to scale on the x-axis and then just scale on y-axis. And again you get this cool shape which I think is pretty cool. I think my handle is a bit too small so I'm just going to scale it on the Z axis, move it down and also select my cube and move that down. I think this works much better now. Now I'm going to add another cube and move this up. This is going to be our blade. I'm going to scale it on the Y axis, something like this, scale it on X axis and select this top face right here and then move it up. That's pretty cool. Add another loop cut in the front and loop cut on the side. I'm going to select these three top vertices and then just going to move them up. I also like to add some loop cuts on the blade. So just press Control R and you can use your scroll wheel to select how many of them you want. I'm gonna take three, select each one and press S, Z, zero to flatten them. S, Z, zero, S, Z, zero. This is just so we can edit our blade a bit, a bit better later on. Now what I'm going to do for the sides, I'm going to go into front view and then Z to go into wireframe mode and select the whole left side. You can press C to have this nice tool and then just delete the vertices and now we can go into the modifiers tab up here, add in a mirror modifier and enable clipping here. This is going to make it a bit easier for us. So just select three vertices, press Alt M to merge the vertices at center. Do the same thing for the rest of the, of the blade. You can again press Z to go into wireframe mode and select these bottom ones. I think our guard is a bit too thick so I'm just going to go into side view and scale it on the Y axis. This looks a bit better. 
And now you can select these vertices in the middle and maybe move them a bit on the Y axis. Sorry, select the bottom one too. And then go into and just move them. Apply the mirror modifier. Now select select these two up here and then you can scale them. And now this should look like a pretty cool sword. All we have to do now is go into the materials tab and add a new material. This one is going to be blade, for example. Set the color to something like a gray, maybe a bit lighter. Add a new material, we're going to call this one uh, handle. Now you can, by pressing L on the handle, you can select only the handle and assign this material like right here and change the color to something you want. I'll go for a reddish color, something like this. And I'm going to add a new color for the rest of this, so this is going to be the metal for example and this is going to be a bit brighter let's say select both of these and then just assign and you have your sword so if this helped you be sure to leave a like comment down below there's a train in the background finally Go follow me on my social media, there's a link to that in the description, and of course subscribe, it really helps me out, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.